Semero volcano has erupted in the Indonesian island of Java. It is in the eastern part of the uh, island of Java, which is the most populous island in, in Indonesia. A lot of people live in there. And as you can see, a huge pyroclastic cloud is surging toward the lower ground where the people are living. They're escaping. They're trying to escape and survive. Many people, unfortunately, have passed away. This is a lahar. Lahar is a mud flow with volcanic ash mixed in with the water and uh, running down and covering everything, including also uh, the houses, which already are covered with the uh, pyroclastic ash. Uh, the situation is really worrying. I don't know European countries what they can do to help the Indonesian people. We have been talking about the Iceland volcano. We have been talking about the volcano in the in other places in the La Palma. But Europe is already busy, you know, feeding the hungry mouths in the Eastern Europe, Polish and Lithuanians. They never, uh, you know, really get uh, stuffed. They're all the time hungry and asking for more and they don't want to share anything with them, even the most desperate refugees uh, as you can see here in this satellite image you can see the volcanic eruption actually in the location of the semero volcano rising to the above the cloud is now reversed and then dispersed by the air air currents air flows probably jet stream it's almost uh, 12 kilometer high the top of this uh, uh, ash cloud rising uh, I will zoom on that so just to show you exactly which spot I'm talking about. Can, uh, yeah, this is the area. You saw it. That's the volcanic area. Immediately, that get this dispersed. Yeah, that's Semero, almost uh, to the right of the center. This is the wide-angle image. This is a huge, huge ash cloud. And from a distance, this is of course uh, another volcano nearby. Just did in the uh, a few days ago. Uh, it's very tragic. Help them. Semero Volcano is announced a volcanic disaster zone. This is in Indonesia, in the Java. It is one of the biggest uh, volcanoes in the, in the Java island. And the eruption of it released a lot of pyroclastics. As you can see, people are escaping for their life. Uh, and the latest images also show that uh, people are evacuating the area. This is practically a disaster zone. They need help. These people need home somewhere to know to settle even if you want to go to toilet when there is nowhere to where to go it causes a lot of you know hygiene problem disaster diseases and such things where they can put their head down on a pillow or to sleep there is nowhere else people have lost their home people have lost their livelihood as you can see here they're just waiting they're shocked for what is happening and uh, although the local uh, you know rescue workers are helping them a lot but they need more help. International help is what we need. As you can see from the space event, this is so dramatic. Look at the eruption. That's huge in the Java Island. Uh, and that as the night falls, hopes die. People are hopeless. If you can help them, Red Cross or Red Crescent or wherever you can. A shocking eruption scale of the Semero volcano in the Indonesia has not yet been revealed completely. The world is looking elsewhere. This volcano is active and every time it has a surge of the pyroclastics, you see some lava in the night because they're shining. They are very hot. The surge causes this down the slope. Along the river channels, this lahar this uh, formation of the ash mixed with water creates this flood. It engulfs the houses and villages and communities in that area. People are practically hopeless. This is one of the surges you see. They don't know what to do. The world is not looking at that direction. It's a very sad situation for Indonesia. And uh, as you can see, the seismic activity is yet continuing. And every surge brings more damage to the communities in Java Island. This is the most populous island of the Indonesia. Many houses were damaged. We had a lot of videos about the, you know, a little road in the ice stand or Cambrai Vieja, a few houses being damaged. This is the life lost here.
pray for Samero, pray for Indonesia. If you can help, please help. Happy Christmas to you, and I hope that you will listen to this. We are seeing a very strange phenomenon with the Samero volcano. Uh, we know that the Samero has a one uh, main vent on the top of the summit of the uh, volcano. Now we have a second one appearing on the flank of it. It's a, it's a volcanic dump. It's fell sick because it cannot uh, flow like a normal lava flow. It's crumbling lava. And uh, that means it's a very silica rich. When we look close uh, to this uh, secondary vent, or positive vent, I should call it, we see that this is uh, increasing volume. And uh, actually a level going up and down even. Uh, in this image, I have marked it very clear. You can see that this is a secondary vent or secondary uh, dome. The volcano is tall and the lava sometimes can now reach. It doesn't have enough pressure to reach somewhere uh, on the summit. So it goes make a quicker way. Sometimes they both at the same time can erupt, like in this case in Samero. Uh, it's quite a common phenomenon. The volcanoes are rarely that perfect. S uh, secondary vents or positive vents are very common. It is in, uh, located in the Indonesia, this volcano in the Java Island. It's part of the Pacific or Indo-Pacific Ring of Fire. Subduction of the Indo-Australian plate under the Eurasian plates and uh, rising back to the surface creates this uh, molten uh, magma chambers which create this kind of volcanoes. Samara volcano in the uh, Java island uh, of Indonesia had many eruptions today and uh, I'm trying to capture all of this for you and I will speed it up them so you can actually see them under one minute hopefully <laughs> and the eruptions are continuing because there is a plug uh, of very uh, viscous sticky uh, lava sitting on the top of the volcano stopping the volcano from erupting in a normal way and also because the material is very uh, um, sticky and made mostly of the silica, which is like a glue, it cannot erupt other than in the explosive eruptions that you see there. It's like having beans. When you eat beans, it absorbs the water, creates constipation, and then the buildup of pressure in your body creates something that you call as outgassing, politely, if I say that. That same happens again with this volcano. If this plug is sitting there, stopping the volcano from erupting in a normal way, and when the gas buildup uh, is made behind this, under this, it practically explodes and creates this eruption, you see. So this volcano seems to have a lot of pins today. Samara volcanic dome explodes in a beautiful eruption. Uh, this volcano is more than 3,700 meter, although that high, it doesn't have a snow cap, unlike the Andean uh, and Ecuador mountains. That means it's very young, not yet to rise in the Pacific uh, Ring of Fire, which is this volcano located. In this area, it's created by the northward movement of the India and Australia together after separating from the Africa. Here you can see the sticky material like a cap. All the gas is sticky uh, silica rich uh, lava, uh, stopping it from erupting. So the pressure builds up and explodes. When it explodes, of course, during the rain, it can create what we call as lahar, is a flood with, mixed with the volcanic ash. Otherwise, in other times, this is a beautiful area, especially around the plateau to the uh, south of it, it seems, where you can actually go. Have a nice day. This is actually away, well away from the Lahar pathway. You can see that the, the, the canyon is toward almost toward your right here. So this is a nice area. This is a special uh, camping area is beautiful for going for tourists and other things to observe the volcano from a safe distance.